Along the Wasatch Front, we have private lands intermixed with the public lands, intermixed with city, federal, and county ownerships. Shared stewardship gives us the opportunity to plan the right projects in the right locations, and then implement those projects in a timely manner. And only by coming in together at the same table and having a conversation allows us to do that. We want to give back to these places to ensure that the forest is resilient for generations to come. There isn't any one authority in the state or in this community that controls this issue. So collaboration is so critical to our future success. When we look at the models that predict fire risk across the Wasatch Front, it really does go from parleys all the way down to Little Cottonwood. So we want to make sure that we go in and we break up those fuels at strategic locations. On the Wasatch Front, Parley's Canyon is incredibly important. We have multiple canyons that have been overgrown with fuel buildup. Forests, they do need some maintenance just like anything else. What we would like to do is remove the firs. We can remove those and take that fuel out immediately and promote the aspen stands so that you have that, that lower burn intensity and potential to carry embers. And what we're doing here is we're doing a uh, shaded fuel break to mimic uh, natural fire conditions. We come through and we cut the underbrush uh, we cut some of the ladder fuels out and we create these piles that you see behind me. And then we're going to be lighting those on fire when the conditions allow. Once we do that, then we'll go back in and we'll do a second treatment and we'll start spreading out the fuels so that it provides a better, more defensible shaded fuel break. Once this stage is complete, we want to mark all these susceptible trees like this, fall those trees as well, leaving these larger, healthier trees to help reduce the heat load on the landscape when a natural fire does occur. So there's been an increasing recognition that catastrophic wildfire has many, many costs to society. But one of the real human concerns that we have for this is that it impacts watersheds. All this water that comes out of these canyons or comes out of somebody's faucet within 24 hours of you seeing it. In the arid west where we are, every drop of water counts and about 60% of our drinking water comes from our local Wasatch Mountain watersheds. So as the, the water resources diminish, the quality of the remaining resources becomes more and more important. If something bad happens to this water, we can't use it in the valley any longer unless we spend hundreds of millions of dollars to try and filter or treat that water. Why not keep it clean from the source? The scale of the watersheds that provide water to Salt Lake City is quite large. Therefore, the scale of the work is commensurate with that. That is why partnerships are so important because one organization wouldn't be able to cross all of the boundaries of jurisdiction and of just geographic land mass by themselves. We need to get out there and we need to manage those forests to decrease the impacts and provide the resources that we think are important for the public and for the people of the state of Utah. We really do need our partners and we need that support. We need to make sure that we're working together. Our goal is protecting these places, but in a lot of regards, you know, we want to leave these places better than when we found them. And I think this project is is one way that we can accomplish that. I treasure our canyons and know that our community relies on them. So to achieve the goal that we have, that shared stewardship concept has to be at the heart of what we do in future years.